Today I'm going to show you how to make a user info command for your Discord bot. So first of all, I've just created the default template for the command and the command name is just user info. Then for the options, we just have target. So the type is user required as false. So we wanted to be able to do it so they can do slash user info, get their own user info, then slash user info target to get someone else's. So to start this command off, we just want to get the target. So it'll be interaction options that get member target or interaction member if you don't specify a target, then as guild member. Then also let's just defer the reply because we need to fetch the user here just in case it takes a while. Or fetch the member, not user. So target dot fetch. And then we can just create the embed here. And we want to do edit reply because we're deferring it. So for the color, if I can't actually spell, what we want to do is just do fetched member dot user dot accent color or green. So if they have an accent color, it will use that. If it doesn't, it will just set it to green. For the author, let's just do a name. And for this, let's just do the fetch member dot user dot tag. You don't need to use the fetch member object. We could just use the target object, but I'm just going to do that. And also, let's put the icon URL as well. So fetched member dot display avatar URL. Next. This can be the description. So in here, what we want to do, if I just format this correctly. So let's put the user information part first. Oh, I'll do that capital to make it look nice. Then to make a list, do the arrow. So first, let's just specify the ID of the user. Next, let's specify if it's a bot account. Next, let's do the create or account created. Out. Account created. Then let's just put the calendar emoji uh, not that one, that one doesn't work. That one works, that one works. I'll just use the second one. So here, what we want to do is do the timestamp. So, do, oh, don't know why I did that. Fetched member dot user dot Created timestamp, then we want to divide this by a thousand and do two fix zero. And at the end, do your semicolon. And then it's not F until it's got that wrong. We want to do D, then the other arrow. Now we can do the member info section. So in here, let's firstly put the nickname if the user has one. If they don't have one, just put the, or their username. Let's remember the nickname. Oh, let's just put their tag. User, so username. Now, oh, that's meant to have one bracket, not two there. Oh wait, yeah, I didn't need to open the new one. Now let's just format that. 
Next, let's put the server roles so it will create a list of the roles. Let's also put the count of the roles here. So we've fetched member, roles, cache. Let's size the minus one because everyone's also included in the roles. So we want a minus one. Then here, let's do fetch member roles.cache and we want to map these then join them with a comma and a space and then just to replace everyone with empty or we just say none that strings null Next, we can uh, specify if they're in or if they add admin permissions in the server as well. So, fetched member dot permissions dot has. Let's do permission flag bits dot administrator. And we also can say when they joined. So for this, we just want to do the same as this one up here. But we want to change the or user dot created timestamp to dot join timestamp, and then this can be null because a user can leave, then they're not joined. This can be null. Well. It can't be null because we're doing it on a user. So let's just put a spatial mark at the end to get rid of that. To say it's not null. And then let's also just do joined position. So here let's just do... Actually we want to create a, another function for this. Let's call this get join position. Oh, I cannot spell. Let's pass in the interaction and then pass in the target as well. Now, in here, let's just do let pause. There will be a cleaner way to do this, but this is the where I've just done it previously, so I'm just keeping it this way. Join position equals interaction guild members dot cache dot sort. We're gonna do A B A dot join timestamp minus B dot join timestamp and then we just want to put an exclamation mark at the end. Actually, no. We want to just pull it at the end of each one of them. And then we will need one at the end there. So here, let's just do array dot from join position dot find to member index if member in position zero is equal to target dot user dot id then we want to do pos equals index and then okay that's why we need the estimation mark at the end and then let's just do return pos we could just return it here, to be honest, rather than setting this pos variable. But now we can do this. So this dot get join position, pass in the interaction, and pass in the fetched. Oh member 
And then what we want to do is just plus one to that value. That can be null, so let's do that. And then we want to do out of the member count interaction build.member count. Let's also just put hashtags here. Oh, we need that one there. And you can add all sorts of other other things to this command if you want, but I'm just going to keep it with these simple ones for now. So if I just now run the bot. So now we've got nine commands. And now if I go to Discord, I should be able to do the user info command. Now it will do this for myself. So here we go. It's done the ID. Well, no, I'm not a bot. Account created, 3rd of June 2017, which we can see that's correct. Nickname, smile the mic, because I don't have a nickname set, but if I changed it, it would update. Then roles, I've got two, which is correct. Join 21st of August, which is correct. Join position one, because I created the server. So everything seems to work there. Also, it's added my accent color. If I just try it on my test account, which has a nickname. So it gives the ID, bot no, account created. Yeah. And the, here it's done the nickname. It's also got no roles. So everything has worked fine there. But now if I do it on itself, it should say this is a bot. And there we go. And so just make this look nicer. Let's just format these. And I'll restart the bot. Now if we do the user info command, that will just make it look slightly nicer. And that will be it for this video. Thanks for watching.